So proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king, he will be. It's a funny thing about doing something good or something kind. You do it because it feels right, it's proper. It's not so much what's expected, but what you want to do. <sighs> yeah, well, that's the lot. You've done a good job with the polishing, Charlie. Don't you need all these for the rodeo, Dad? Dad? Don't know what got into you the other week, Charlie. got nothing to show for all that work. I'm sorry, Dad. She was so sad. I didn't like it. She was missing her mate terribly, and... Yeah, well, what's done is done. But you've still got to work hard these holidays. We need the money. Reckon we'll fell a few trees in the south paddock and sell them for firewood come winter. And today... But, Dad, Granddad's expecting me today. I told him I'll be back. I can't let him down. You think something's wrong. Well, you should have thought about that before you let that Brumby go. Get through your chores and everything else we've got to do and we'll uh, think about it. Right. See you tonight. I'm going to see if I can make us some money. And no slacking. Days work in one morning, Grandad. Reckon I deserve a bit of the rest in the high country. Come on, Snowy. Yeah, I know. Dad'll be mad as hell. But I've done what he asked and more. Better get a move on if we're to get there before sunset. Between the 
the two of us, we should remember the way. Just seen a small human, a boy on a horse, here in the high country. <laughs> yeah, well, so have I. And I almost got trampled on for me trouble. Now get out of me way, I've got no time for gossip and chatter. <laughs> Unlike some I might mention. <laughs> Hello, that young troublemaker back to capture the boss's daughter on his own, eh? Getting a bit ambitious, aren't we? This should be entertaining. <laughs> A boy man on a horse. In the high country. Here on a horse in the high country. I know, I know. I was following them, you nattering numbskulls. I'm a spy, for heaven's sake. It's my job to know who or what is in or near the mighty Brolga's territory. Ooch! Just trying to be helpful. Well, just being civil, trying to be of service. Doing our good deed for the day. Thinking of others rather than thinking of ourselves. Those less fortunate. Fortune favours the brave. Even say goodbye. Not very civil. Not very polite at all. Well, positively rude, in fact. <laughs> Don't worry, Snowy. Just take your time. You're not used to it, that's all. We can still make it by sunset. Must be getting close to the high country now, Snowy. Temperature drop? I don't remember coming this way with Dad. Maybe we should have taken the right hand track. going, Snowy. Maybe we'll rest for a bit while I work out where we are. Nothing. Where are we? Guess I'm not as smart as I thought I was, Snowy. We're lost. But we're not alone, Snowy. Our friends of the bush are here to help us. Now what would Grandad do? He wouldn't give up, that's for sure. <sighs> Steady, Snowy. It's okay. Whoa, that boy. done a good job, son. Charlie? 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 Stupid kid. No sign of Snowy and no sign of him. No prizes for guessing where he's gone. That damn grandfather of his is a bad influence. Well, you needn't think you'll get away with it. I told him not to go when I catch up with him. 
Snowy. What happened, Snowy? Where is he? Something spooked you? Did you throw him? Is he hurt? <laughs> Damn kid. What is that small human doing in this part of the bush? Oh, he shouldn't be here. Not on foot. Not alone. Where's his horse? Uh, I think we have something to do with that. Are we in trouble? I think he'll be in trouble if we don't get help. We'd better tell someone. We'd better. <laughs> Sorry, my fault. Oh, no, mine. Silly mistake. I do apologise. Ow, oh, my poor traumatised tail. I'm giving up this spying game. It's too dangerous. I never get the credit I deserve. I'm employed by a... Talking to yourself, Carol. I hope you weren't referring to me. I was merely saying, sire, that I'm employed by a tremendous leader and ruler of all he surveys. Uh, it seems I employ you to sit around all day preening your feathers. Just carrying out running repairs on injuries received in the course of my duties, oh, compassionate one. I was engaged in tracking a small human. What? Why didn't you warn me immediately? Where did you see this human? Across the Krakenback River under the ram's head. Uh... That's where that coward Thaura hides out. Not close enough to trouble the herd. But you better get airborne and keep an eye out for any change. But, sire, I'm wounded. I need time to recover. Uh, 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 on my way, boss. Disturb me here. I'll just make up some story to keep him happy. <laughs> Charlie must have lost his marbles. We've never been anywhere near here. Oh, he could be anywhere. That sun isn't waiting for anyone. Come on, get here. I wish you could talk. I wish you could tell me where I am. I shouldn't have come. It's my own fault. I'm lost. Mopoke, Mopoke. And you can be quiet as well. Mopoke, Mopoke. Didn't you hear me? I said... Oh, the ram's head. I don't believe it. Thanks, Mopoke. I couldn't see it from where I was. And now I know where I am. I can make it if I hurry. <gasps> Just get clear of these trees. I'll be able to work out how to get across to the ram's head. Then I'm nearly at Granddad's. Ah! Oh boy, that was close. How am I going to get out of this one? You got any ideas, my poke? It won't be long before it's dark. And Granddad will never be able to find me then. I don't like the idea of being stuck on this sledge all night. Ah! No time to waste, no time to waste. I must get help, I must make haste. He 
was on his own. All by himself. No horse. Well, there was one, but... But he's on foot now. The horse is gone. Don't know where. It'll soon be dark, Thara. I think we should help this young one on his way, don't you? You're right, Benny. Can you show us the way, Emus? You've done a great job finding us. Now can you get us back to where you last saw him? And quickly. He was here a minute ago. He can't be far away. How far can he get on foot? Well, he's not here now. That's obvious. Which way would he have gone? Help! Can anyone hear me? I know that voice, Thara. I'm sure he's the young one who freed me. We must help him. His calls came from up towards that ridge. Help! Help! Thara, quickly, come this way. Your speed and strength may save the day. <laughs> What can we do, Thara? How can we help him? Oh, no! Help me, please! Stay here, Boon Boon, and keep him company. Benny, you and I have got to get to the prospectors as fast as we can. We haven't got much time by the looks of that ledge. Let's go then, Thara. Oh, pretty Philly. You remember me, don't you? Oh, but I can't hold on much longer. I hope your friends have gone and get help. Son of young Charlie. I could have sworn he said he'd be around today. Well, the cavalry are here. <laughs> What are you waiting for? I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> Nearly there, Thara. One more tug. Nearly there, Charlie boy. Oh, well done, Thara. Thanks, Granddad. Oh, don't thank me, Charlie. Thank that silver brumby. the news he'd be dead very possibly i knew he meant no harm of course of course i knew that too oh, of course you did you did very well emus so did everybody he's a good youngster with plenty of stamina <laughs> <laughs> 
That's no surprise. He's like his grandfather. One of us. You're right there, but... <gasps> Look! It's him! The man who caught me! It's all right, Burn Burn. I don't think he's here to do you any harm. Maybe never again. That wasn't the same man that went into that hut. That was a man worried about his son. A father who cared. He did look different. Anyway, we're all here, Boon Boon, to see you don't come to any harm. And perhaps, just in case, it might be wise to move off to the secret valley. No point in tempting fate. Come on. I was so worried, Charlie. When Snowy came back... Yeah, yeah, now let the boy alone. And don't bother ticking him off about coming up here. He knows it was stupid, and he's had punishment enough. I wasn't going Maybe to... Maybe not. But I reckon he's learnt more by himself today than you or I have taught him since he was born, and in my case, that's quite a lot. Sugar? <sighs> don't you go spoiling him while he's up here. And he has to be back in seven days, right? We've still got firewood to cut. And to make sure... I'll come and get him and teach him the proper way to come next time. So Charlie's good deed was returned by the creatures of the high country. But as it often is with good friends, it would not be long before Charlie was to help out again. The nice thing about favours is that you can keep doing them.